Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We have brand new information about Starfield, about the future of the game, courtesy of an interview with Todd Howard, the game director at Bethesda Game Studios, over at the YouTube channel Mr. Matty Plays. They cover a lot of things from Fallout to Elder Scrolls, but what we are interested in here is Starfield. It was revealed in this interview that the development for the DLC Shadow Space actually started right after the release of Starfield. So Bethesda did not take a break. They hit the ground running and I have a feeling that it is on schedule and it should be released on time in the fall of 2024. Something that we didn't know before but now we know thanks to this interview is that Shadow Space will actually take place mostly in one location, one city. My money is somewhere in Serpentis, which I think this could be a good thing since there's going to be less loading screens, less going back and forth like in other faction quests that we had. And I have a hunch that the land vehicle, the rover, will probably be released with the DLC since everything will be happening in one location, maybe one planet mostly. Maybe we get the land vehicle to move around between different locations in that city. Who knows? That's just my wish, my speculation. We're kind of getting a little bit of new information here and there, but there's still a lot and answer. Like for example, whether the dialogue with the NPCs are going to be different. Like I have two versions, one where Andresia is alive in your game versus one where you lost Andresia. But hopefully we get more information as we get closer to the release. And right after that, Mr. Howard stated that there's going to be more DLC. This is a quote directly from him. I would say we want to, more or less, yes. How long that continues, hopefully a very long time. But that's what we're planning for, the one after this, so there will be another one. So right there, that's great news, that's fantastic, knowing that there is a future and that the future is pretty bright for Starfield. It is probably safe to assume that they might have ideas already in place, but maybe the development of the next DLC probably won't start after the Shadow Space is released. That's all we got from that interview in regards to DLCs. The next topic that they talked about is about the new creation kit. More specifically about the mission that costs $7 to unlock. I think it's called the Vulture. And it seems like Bethesda is listening to all the negative feedback. I am in the same boat. Personally, I didn't think that charging $7 or 700 creation credits for a mission was a good idea. And the good news is, is that they are looking into it. Maybe they change the pricing, they break it up or they do something else. We don't know yet, but it seems like they got the message from the gaming community. So that is always a good start. Honestly, Releasing those smaller missions free is probably the best way to go. But the chances of that, I don't know, is probably pretty small. Uh, I do think that a good solution would be to be able to earn creation credits in the game somehow. Maybe not easily, but still be able to earn some of those credits in the game. But then there's also the option to buy it. So anyway, those were the most important points. I'll leave the link to the full interview in the description. It's about an hour long. You can go watch it. All right, thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I never send out notifications when I upload, so no interruptions from this channel. That is my promise. Thanks again. I'll see you all in the next video.